What's going on everyone, man? It's like every single year, some social network always messes up. And I'll tell you right now, this year was not the year for Facebook. Okay, if you guys don't know, Facebook owns Instagram. And today, Instagram just did the weirdest thing ever. And before I go into that, I want to explain to you something that Snapchat did last year. If you guys don't remember, it was literally almost, I think about a year ago, that Snapchat did their whole redesign of like their stories and all that stuff. And they switched it up so people can go and I guess view more advertisements, stuff like that. And I did that video last year where I said, don't update your Snapchat. A lot of people took my advice, thankfully, but a lot of people didn't. Surprisingly, believe it or not, my Snapchat is still on the older version. I never updated it. As you can see in my app store, I have, the, I guess, the December 17th, 2018 version still updated. So I never even updated it. But Instagram today actually pushed the update and apparently it wasn't even like through the app store. It was just like a update that you got, I guess, over the air. And pretty much what happened was they tested their new software that they're going to publicly release probably soon. And I think it probably was an accident, but I don't think it's what you're thinking. So as you know, the usual standard Instagram layout is like this. You have the photos. This is my main screen. If you want to follow me, simple alpaca. I post a lot of phone stuff, but follow me anyway so you can DM me and make me feel better about myself. But as you can see, like this is the usual whatever, right? On your Instagram feed, look at this photo, man. 2,000, almost 3,000 likes for that giveaway. By the way, I'm picking that winner for tomorrow, December 28th. So if you haven't entered, go click the first link in the description, watch that video. It's free to enter, just watch it, it'll make more sense. But what they're basically doing is switching from this layout to the I guess the story view now now unfortunately I wasn't able to test it but pretty much what's happening is that instead of this layout instead of you scrolling this way you're actually going to end up scrolling this way you know how you view stories even on snapchat you can swipe left to right instagram you swipe left to right pretty much what their new layout is going to entail is that same exact effect is that you're going to swipe left and right viewing from past photo to the new photo everything like that and that's the dumbest thing ever again I don't know why they're doing that well you might be asking yourself why they're doing that. I just asked myself that, but I just answered my own question even earlier in this video. It's the same exact reason Snapchat did it. It's because it's better for advertisers to completely engulf your whole screen to, I guess, see the idea, see the advertisement, whatever, rather than you just quickly kind of glancing through all your photos like this, you actually can go and have a full glance of what the image is and what the advertisement is. Because if you think about it, Snapchat pretty much proved that these companies, these huge social medias, aren't looking out for their consumers and their and their users. They're looking out for their advertisers. YouTube is kind of the same way too, but they're really getting better, I understand. Twitter, I think, is the only exception to this. They've seemed to find a way to not be completely, you know, one-sided and completely weird. They've been able to have advertisements here and there, but not completely ruin the platform. Instagram has done it a couple times. Snapchat just did it. Facebook is in a completely different planet now, but Instagram, even though it is run by Facebook, was one of those things where they haven't really changed it in a while. And, you know, even though that was just kind of the over the air update, they're really not going to do too much with it right now. I'm telling you in the next couple months, they're going to go and make that the new design. I, I'm pretty sure there's no other reason why they would do that. They were literally just testing the water, seeing how the public would react, and then they retracted it. And it's the same exact thing Snapchat did, if you remember, with their betas. I don't even know why Snapchat has betas, but they completely redesigned their whole thing and people had backlash and they said they don't want it. And now Instagram's kind of doing the same thing in their own regards. It's completely stupid. Again, they're probably going to end up doing it because it's better for the advertisers. We're probably going to get used to it if I'm being honest, but it's still kind of a dumb thing and it's like way to top off 2018, you know, Instagram, we had a pretty quiet year, you know, especially because a lot of people don't even know Facebook and Instagram, that Instagram owns Facebook. But now people are kind of waking up and they're like, why would they do that? And now they're like, oh, Facebook runs it. And that's kind of like, it's kind of being like marketed as such. And I'll be honest, if anybody from Instagram is watching, don't even think about doing that. It's the dumbest thing ever. Why would you do that? Having it this type of layout is perfectly fine. I really, really like this type of layout. It's awesome. This is what we're all accustomed to. And if you go and switch it to the other way, people are going to jump ship and they're going to go to like, who knows what else. TikTok, maybe, maybe that'll be the new Instagram. <laughs> it's completely dumb and there's really no reason to do it. You're better off just sticking out where you're at and going for from there but that's pretty much it man if you have instagram don't update anytime soon i know that the update could be through over the air but i think their official one their big one that's going to completely redesign the whole thing is probably going to go through the app store and you're gonna have to go and upgrade through here so i'm telling you right now don't even upgrade your instagram like how i haven't even updated my snapchat yet and you should be good so that's where i'm gonna leave it at if you have any questions or anything like that leave it down in the comment section below hit that like button but definitely hit that subscribe button every single subscriber we get really does count so it'll mean so much if you guys could hit that also check out the other links down in the description as well my twitter my instagram my second channel all those links are linked down below i would really appreciate if you guys could check that out but more importantly than everything else i love every single one of you guys oh fuck out you guys in the next video
Peace out till then.